this one, the I never played here before, so. Oh, you haven't played here yet? Oh, it goes that way. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a dog leg right, okay. and then the green's pretty far. I'm Scott. I'm just playing as a single. I don't know if you guys want me to go in front of you or if you want to go out in front. Okay, that sounds good. Cool. This is insane. So I put that smash tape on here, and hopefully we can zoom in on this enough. But there, I hit a fly at speed somehow. You see that? He's on there. I hit a fly. Also, I'm hitting the top of the ball. I can't hit the center. That's my second shot. It did hit the ball, but still. Oh. All right, so first hole down, we got a bogey. Um, we're playing no hack golf right now because it's pretty nice out here. The weather is about 72. It's a little bit sunny and in the shade it's kind of chilly so I wore a long sleeve. All right, chalk it up, another bogey. I need a, I need that 60 degrees sooner than later. I look, <laughs> I look like I'm a telemarketer. Um, I need that 60 degrees sooner or later because all these shots I'm hitting are just kind of like, they're little frilly chips, but they're more straight on. I need a 60 degree, then I can pop it up, do some Phil Mickelson flop shots. All right, on to the next hole. Uh, this has been bogey golf so far if you've been watching uh, we figured out a few things already it's that I am topping my driver okay no secret I don't know how to cure that yet we're gonna go to Rick Shields for the fix um, the next thing is my shots are starting to go a little bit right or a little bit left I need to get back on the sky track because when I was hitting in the sky track indoors I was able to get my shots straighter and further and more pure just consistently especially off the mats of course so I think I need to go back to that and add a little bit of practicing in with my playing all right on to hole number three uh, looking about 155 yards we got a nice chance right here for an up and down to make par Right on the face. Well, you know, a little bit to the side, but pretty good. I figured it out. That one hit right there and I kept my right shoulder back. All right, that was a 266 yard strike, so something is right there. Still 275 in. We hit that one with my Titleist uh, 818H2 fairway wood. This is a little bit older, but it's got the Atmos shaft in it, so still hits nice. So I think that was a little bit of a mental mistake on my side. I should just hit it a little bit harder. That could have been an extra stroke save, so we'll go ahead and mark that down. That was an okay shot, but still. 244 drive. It was off a, off the side of the top of the club. 110 yards in. Uh, we're right under this tree, so we're going to have to hit a 7 and just try to get it to roll right up there. Alright, mark me down. That's another bogey. 
Uh, we're pretty much playing bogey golf. I had to get one par today, so that's gonna put us seven over after eight. We're birdie seeking because we need some numbers taken down. If we're gonna be almost nine over, we're gonna be eight over on the turn. It's not gonna look good for us later today, so. We're gonna do some soul searching, we're gonna do some pin searching, we're gonna see if we can lock it down on a few of these par threes, uh, maybe on some of the par fives. So, keep on going. Uh, this is on my quest to beat Austin. Austin, this is a direct call out, I'm gonna beat you. Um, soon enough, this is me gearing up to take all your money. <laughs> see you soon. All right, so we landed on the green behind me. Pretty good chance for the birdie right here. That brings us to the ninth hole. We are six over after eight, so we're gonna continue to push through. If we can get one back here, that would be amazing. Go into the 10th, 11th, 12th with over five. So um, we're gonna see what we can do, but right now we're plus six. Hopefully we can take one away with this hole. Ninth hole. This was the first one right there. This was our second one, sorry. And this was the first one, so still nothing on the face. That tree, so we still have a long way to cover. There's a chance, chance for an up and down. Here it is for a par going into the end, so not too far out there as you can see. Usually I have a ninth hole talk, but today we're gonna to do the tenth hole talk. Tenth hole talk. We finished that round, plus seven, 42. We still got some leeway to make. Um, this next drive, finally we hit it pretty straight. Uh, we did hit the cart path just barely on the right hand side, and I think we kind of trickled over, so that's where we're walking right now. All right, Bryson's coming out, thank you. I did get some cart path, but this is at 294 from here, and we're not too far away from the green. Nice, nice. Perfect. All Dude. right. Paul. We needed some excitement, so finish that hole out with a nice par bar. Um, train's coming by, so we're moving on to the par three. This one's uphill. It's gonna be hole number 11. Uh, you've seen it before, so on to hole number three. I'll blame that one on my glove. Extra slippery. Definitely time for a new one. Oh, hit that. Nice. Oh. nice. Max fly. Let her fly. All right, nothing special. A 214 drive. Still didn't hit the center of the face. That was a par, that puts us at eight over after 12. Nice. All right. right up there with me, man. Let me get up to there. Heads up, heads up! Sorry, sorry, heads up! Ooh. Sorry, didn't realize you were going through there. Not a great shot, but that looks like a line if I've ever seen one. Holes right there. And we are still 195 out, so we're. Nice. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, bro, that one's straight. That was my longest drive. No, not my longest drive of the night, but definitely pure 251. Still 230 in, so I'll hit that. All right, so it's getting uh, to the end of the night. The sun is definitely going down. We maybe have another 10 minutes or so before it's dark out here, so I don't know. I don't know if we're getting to another hole, but I just uh, I popped in on my shot right here. We rolled up right by the green. Here is the flag. So right now my watch is showing 2.15 about 220 right there so that's where we're usually hitting this one it's my 220 club oh nice yes. oh that was going real quick i'm real Good glad that put, one thank you that was a birdie take one off for hole number 16 so we are 11 over after 16. all right i can't see anything out here but i want to finish this round so i'm going to keep going uh the video might not be great we might just skip ahead uh, but just know i played these holes found my ball i ran here because we got to hurry 162. We hit something, I heard it hit. We might be on the green. Oh! That hit the pin. I don't know if you saw that. Technically, that counts. Oh. I mean, technically, that should have counted. That went in if we're playing COVID rules, but I'm gonna give myself a par. I'm still 11 over after 17. That was uh, one putter. Center of the fairway. I gotta keep going, it's dark. All right, I think with that one we're calling it. So if I give myself a par for that last hole, because unfortunately we couldn't finish it, then that means we hit an 83. Uh, I wish I could have finished it, but we're on a roll. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be back out here again. Tomorrow I'm gonna see if I can get a match in, maybe another $20 match or so. Uh, keep watching, thank you for following. See you guys soon. I know this is crazy, but we're gonna figure this out and this is gonna work and this is the next best thing to having I guess your own golf cart is your own electric golf cart. Okay, ready?